This is question 14. Here I'm told that the nth term of a quadratic sequence is n squared plus 3n minus 2. I'm asked to find the fourth term of this sequence. So in order to do this, all that I have to do is substitute in n equals 4 into the nth term for the quadratic sequence that I'm given. So this is just going to be 4 squared plus uh, 3 times 4 minus 2. So this is going to give me 16 plus 12 for 28 uh, minus 2, which is going to give me 26. So my answer for part A is going to be 26. For part B, I'm asked to find the nth term for this quadratic sequence, and it's a different quadratic sequence that I'm given. So in order to do this, I'm going to start by working out what the difference is between each term in my sequence. So I can see that to get from the first term, I'm having to add on 6. Then I'm having to add on 10, 14, and then having to add on 18. Now with a quadratic sequence, what I then need to do is I need to look at the second difference. So what is the second difference from what I was adding on to begin with? And I can see here that this has got a common second difference of 4. So adding on 4 each time. What that tells me, what that tells me about my quadratic sequence is that the quadratic sequence is going to be starting with 2n squared. The 2, that number in front of the n squared, so the fact that it is the second difference means that it's going to be n squared. And then the 2 comes from half in that second difference. So if we have a quadratic sequence, to work out what it begins with, we look at the second difference to see that it is n squared, and then we half that second difference to get the number in front of the n squared, the coefficient of n squared. Now, what I like to do at this point is I then like to write out, well, what is this sequence 2n squared and how is it different from the sequence that I've got? So substituting in 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 into 2n squared, that's going to give me uh, 1 times 1 squared for 2, then 2 times 2 squared for 8, 2 times 3 squared, so 2 times 9 for 18, 2 times 16 for 32, and then 2 times 5 squared, 2 times 25 for 50. What I can see is that my sequence 2n squared is different from the sequence that I have got here. So I'm going to need to make an adjustment to 2n squared. My answer is going to be 2n squared, and then I'm going to have to make an adjustment. What is the adjustment I'm going to need to make to 2n squared to make my numbers uh, in my original sequence? And what I can see is that to get from 2n squared to the numbers in my sequence, I'm going to have to subtract 1. So for part b, final answer is going to be 2n squared minus 1. One small thing that you can do just to check your answer here is to, for example, take a term of the sequence and just see whether that works. So does 2 times 4 squared minus 1 give me 31? So 2 times 16 minus 1, yes it does, so 2n squared minus 1 must be correct.